Welcome to another edition of Between Two Kairos. And if you didn't already get it, I'm a Cairo. I'm a Cairo. Dr. Israel the Cairo. I'm not. And so Kristen is Between Two Kairos. In this episode of Between Two Kairos, we're going to discuss what does it mean your pain has a cause? Now, it may seem pretty simple, but a lot of people out there, clinicians, talk about we're treating the root cause of your problem to achieve a solution, a resolution, but are they truly saying that, are they truly treating the cause? So we're gonna dig into that a little bit deeper. We are Reach Rehab and Chiropractic Performance Center in uh, Plymouth, Michigan, where we perform sports chiropractic, massage therapy, and a slew of other services where we help you take the guesswork out of healing so you can do more than just relief pain, you can become unstoppable. Make sure to like this video and subscribe for future content. So now, Dr. Israel, Yep. Everyone experiences pain, is that correct? Absolutely. It's just part of the normal, natural human experience to uh, feel pain. And I think of pain as a protective mechanism by the body. And it can vary, but I think of it as a, a gauge of how much we can handle certain stressors, especially on a daily basis, uh, whether that's physically, like we have an actual injury occurring, a physical injury, uh, chemically through poor nutrition or emotionally if you're just having a bad day. So pain is there as a survival mechanism. It's not all bad. It's there to tell us that we need to do something different. Um, so Dr. Israel, to continue on that, you know, so pain can vary, right? Not all pain is the same? Correct. I mean, there's several causes, but how we experience pain is different too, whether uh, it's a change in intensity, you know, if it's just a nagging injury or, hey, we got to get you to the hospital right now, it's a little bit more severe. Uh, the duration, you know, how long has this been going on? Is this just something that happened over the weekend or we've been dealing with this for years? Or just how frequently are you, you dealing with it throughout just each and every day? So, so what about type of pain? We all have different types of pain, correct? Correct. I mean, it could manifest as a, as a dull feeling pain or something sharp like someone stabbing you. So there's several factors that go into our pain experience. To, you talked about cause, Dr. Israel. So Kristen, I'll ask you, Pain can be caused by many things, is that correct? It's not just like an injury or an accident. Pain does have a lot of influence and in causes. Of course, there is tissue damage that could cause pain if you have a broken bone that can absolutely hurt. But there's a lot of other causes that people don't tend to think about. Um, illness can absolutely cause pain. If you've ever had the flu or, or a bad cold, you know the body aches that come associated with it. And if you've ever had your heart broken or lost somebody you love, you absolutely know that emotions can cause pain as well. And, and on a mundane level, just a stressful day can cause tightness in your shoulders or give you a headache. When we look at the underlying neurological mechanism in your brain of the pain experience, we learn that pain is really only dealt with in one way in your body. Your brain doesn't distinguish the difference between um, emotional pain and physical pain. It's all the same thing in your brain, and, and that's a really important experience for us as clinicians to understand and to help you to work with to actually get to the root cause of it. With that being said, it's very important to identify the cause, and I challenge you or maybe the clinicians that you're working with to truly identify the cause. Uh, why I bring this up? Because as a chiropractor in chiropractic, chiropractors like to say that we're treating the root cause or we're treating the misalignment or subluxation. My question is then, what is causing that misalignment or subluxation? And the truth is, whether you like it or not, or you know or not, it is your behaviors. You are with yourself 24 hours a day. We like to say, the stuff we do with you is not powerful enough to change the 24 hours a day you use your body. That's why the strategies we give you are so important to employ those step by step. And so to use a metaphor to help you understand this, if you look up here, well, you probably can't see it, but we have a ceiling and it's drywall. And if that drywall ceiling gets wet, we first probably want to fix it, right? But then we maybe want to think, well, why was it wet? We could just ignore it and, and replace it. But if it happens again and again and again, we may want to not just replace the drywall, we may want to look a little bit deeper and see is there a leaky pipe? Or maybe is there a leaky roof? Right? Because no matter how many times we change that drywall, it's going to keep happening over and over again. And unfortunately, this happens way too often in our, in our industry where people are looking to get the muscular or skeletal or physical fix when there's really a leaky pipe or a leaky roof going on. And we keep doing the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result. So whether you're experiencing chronic pain or something that's more recent, give us a call, reach out. We can help you identify the underlying mechanisms of the pain experience, helping you to get to a real conclusion of your pain, to actually holistically heal and overcome this. 
And lastly, if we can't help you directly, we can always help you indirectly by getting you to the right place. We may not know what everything is, but we'll know what it's not. So that way we can direct you to the right place and even co-manage with other professionals in order to get you the solution that you're looking for.